Nothing's what it seems But I feel gravity is holding me down It's there for all to see Through dirt and through debris Everyone is leaving this forsaken town backwards. So what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna talk about my hair. <laughs> to see what happened was. You know like when a smaller person or like anybody in general like I look in the mirror and I see myself but I see myself bigger than what I actually am or a smaller person looks in the mirror and they see themselves bigger than what they actually are. Um, well there's something sort of like that when you go blonde. Kind of like every time you look in the mirror you don't think you're blonde enough so you push your luck to try to get as blonde as you can possibly can get. But the fact of the matter is, you're already blonde, and you're blonde enough. It's just like Shallow How. Have you, has anybody ever seen the movie Shallow How? It's kind of like that. I always call Shane Shallow How. But uh, I tried pushing my luck <laughs> to get blonder after I was already platinum blonde. I sort of kind of might have accidentally disintegrated my hair. So I spent many, many days um, apologizing to Jesus for that one because if y'all... It's, it's sweaty. Oh, my pits are sweaty. Oh my gosh. If I was a normal person, that would embarrass me. She ain't normal though. But I've spent several days praying, asking Jesus to forgive me, which he did the first time. But y'all know, I got I just gotta make sure with that. <laughs> because if y'all are new here and you didn't know, I've been playing around with my hair a lot. You guys who are new here probably have noticed that. And I usually don't do that. Not here in my 30s or in my late 20s. I didn't really do that. I did that a lot whenever I was younger, but I hadn't done that recently. And that is because I specifically prayed so hard for my hair to grow so fast, and it did. My hair does not grow fast at all. It was Jesus. What did I do? I went and I messed it up. Call me a modern day Eve. I'm so mad at myself. I messed it up. So now, I gotta start all over again from scratch. And it's okay. I know one thing though. Uh, the Hair Chronicles is over. I closed that book and I taped it shut. Padlocked it. I put caution tape around it. Nobody's getting back in there. We ain't touching nothing no more. Uh-uh. I'm over it. I'm done. I had my fun. That was fun while it lasted. I'm not doing it no more. I will just look like this until my hair grows back out. And then I'll probably, honestly, I don't know. I'm not going to say I won't keep it natural because then if I don't, I, that would be lying. And I don't like to, I don't like to make promises I can't keep. So I'm just going to lay low with the hair stuff and just let it do what it does. What God told it to do in the beginning of time, which was grow. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm making such a big deal out of it, it's because it's, it's, it's darker. You see, like it's, it's got platinum. 
in there. It's really, really light, but there is dark in there too. And I'm wearing my pale makeup today. So like whenever I have my dark makeup on, it is white. It's basically white. But you guys know the paler you are, the the darker your hair looks. Like if you if you put a tan person on platinum hair, that hair is going to look white, like snow white white. But if you put it on a lighter skin tone, it's, it's just going to look blonde. So you might be saying I'm dramatic because of that and you're right I am a very dramatic person I'm very exaggerative too like those are two qualities that I'll take to my grave probably I don't think I'll ever get any of that out of me and I'm not so sure I want to but I don't think I'm being dramatic this time because this is why I'm having all the feelings I'm feeling it's not just dark it's short oh <laughs> If you're on Instagram, then this is old news to you because I had actually pre-filmed quite a few videos for YouTube. So my hair has been like this for a little bit. Y'all just haven't seen it because you've been seeing videos I pre-filmed. So me and Instagram have already, Instagram and I, have already been through it. We've already talked about it. We've already had our fun. We've already said, I told you so, Marina. We've already said all of that. But that was only half the gang. The whole gang is here on YouTube, and y'all hadn't seen it yet. Unless you saw my community post a couple days ago. So, yeah, it's short. Um, a bunch of guys said that it matches my personality, and I don't know how to take that. It also matches me physically, too, because it's short. I'm short. You know, I'm 5152 on a good day. It's got a lot of layers in it, too. And I specifically asked for that. Oh, yeah, by the way, I had to get it professionally done. So I ended up spending two times the money by trying to do it at home. I know. I hear it already. I know. I know. I told myself so, but I was trying to save a penny because I really wanted a shed. And I was like, <laughs> I got this. If I can do everything for $100, then I'm saving $250, and then I can get me a daggone outdoor shed and then I won't be drowning in everything in my house. That looked good on paper, but in reality it didn't turn out that way. So I told the professional what I wanted. I said I wanted something easy that I could keep up. I wanted all the damaged parts off, which was a majority of my hair. And I wanted something that would be easy to maintain with my natural hair color. My natural hair color is very dark. My natural hair color will grow out, and if I have to have anything done to it, if I want to have anything done to it, then I'll just do highlights like it is right now. She did a really good job on those highlights. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, holy moly, that girl, that's why we go to professional. So now that that's over with, we got the elephant out of the room. <laughs> Y'all see what I did there? I beat the turns to it. <laughs> Now that we got the elephant out of the room though, we got some stuff to do today. We're going to do some mobile home updates. It's a lot of electrical work. I ordered a crap ton of, I think it's called recess. I think it's called recess lights. I just popped something in my pelvis. Oh, I just popped something in my pelvis. We're going to be doing a ton of those today. It's going to make it so much prettier and lighter in here though. Brighter and I'm super excited about that. I'm waiting on Shane to get back with some things that we forgot to get. The first four trips to Lowe's. <laughs> I'm waiting on him to get back and then we're going to get started. I'm trying to also reel myself in because I don't know if you noticed, but I've noticed today that my ADL, AD, see? And my ADHD, ADHD is out of control today. The pros, I got a lot of energy. The cons, I gotta put up with myself all day today. Shane's gotta put up with me all day today. Y'all gotta put up with me all day today. We're as lonely as you are. Doing it the way Cammy does it. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Tell them what we're doing, boss. I like becoming boss. <laughs> I like having titles that don't really mean anything. We got seven lights that are going up in this ceiling. These two uh, bad boys here are getting replaced by those lights, which by the way, they are the LEDs. The apprentice has become the master. Last time we did this, you were being taught. Yes, last time I was being taught, today's test day. We're gonna replace uh, these two with two, and then we're putting four in here in the dining area surrounding the chandelier here. So the plan- We're putting a third one right there too. Um, how I'm gonna do it is, on this first one here, I'm just going to rewire it and just put a light up there. Mm -hmm. But from this one, I'm gonna be utilizing what I learned from Roberto. I'm gonna utilize what we learned from Roberto here, and I'm gonna run a wire from this lot to that 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 lot. It's all gonna be connected. So, test day. The end. Hello again. <laughs> <laughs> and now our sponsors. <laughs> 
Our sponsor today is White Candle. Get your White Candle today from White Candle. Why are we doing sponsors? I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling uh, silly today. Yeah, Anything well, I have happen. too much energy too, so this is this is a recipe for a disaster. Why you got too much energy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Give me some of that energy. <laughs> you just tossed it at you and you caught it. I accepted it. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> Welcome to our next sponsor. <laughs> Today's sponsor is Upside Down White Candles. <laughs> Get your upside down white candle today. <laughs> you would be so good at sponsors. It's a shame we don't know. <laughs> we could probably get sued though. Yeah, there was that incident. <laughs> I told them about the job that you got me fired from from saying their jewelry looked like noodles. <laughs> okay, listen. I wasn't being rude. You were being honest, but... I was being honest. <laughs> it did look like crap mac and cheese. When it looks tea. like something my little girls would make in vacation Bible school, <laughs> I'm going to call you out on it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we don't do sponsors. Because <laughs> we're both brutally honest about stuff, and that's just a that's a, that's a disaster waiting to happen, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, not one of our finest moments. <laughs> But, you if know. somebody sent me perfume and it stunk, I'd be like, it smells like a fart in a can. And there goes a thousand dollars in law fees. Okay, <laughs> let's just do what we're good at and play around in the house. <laughs> All right, come on. Okay. Let's do this thing. Are you done? I'm so in love with you today. Okay, I'm in love with you too. Come Wait, back. Come back, baby. Marina! Wait, does that mean you're not in love with me every day? I just, I just thought about that for a little day. bit. I'm just being interested. You're emphasizing on it today. Empathizing? I don't know. That's real Empathizing? Hard. Are you empathizing with me? I got a question. Did you set <gasps> paint roller up here? I forgot about way? it. I may or might not have. Because, um. This is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> a little giant <laughs> has a handle now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> How do I get this off? <laughs> Will it not just pull off? No. <laughs> you painted it. I didn't mean to, though. The little giant has been painted. Is it? Oh, it's wet. What? It's still wet. Is <laughs> <Wow>. it? <What? laughs> First things first, we gotta turn some power off. There's that one. And that one. This is the brand of lights that we are using. There are how many here? This is 24? not the brand of lights that you're using. Oh, is it not? This is from one of your picture frames. Oh, this is the brand of <laughs> This is the brand of lights that we're using. I think there's 24 in here, right? Yeah. There's 24 in here. They are the faux recess. They're not Hand lights, but they're recess lights. Yeah. Is that, am I saying that right? Yes. They're the ones that are flush up against the ceiling. And this comes with all the parts that we need except for the boxes, right? And the wiring. Well, actually, um, we don't have to use any of this, save for if I want to use the nuts, and then I do need the screws. These right here, I don't use at all. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Look at you. I'm trying to get like you, my boy. Oh. 
Man, that already makes it so much brighter in here. Look at the difference. Yeah, and we'll put that caulk around it. Yeah. I'm not used to buying wire. I don't remember it ever being behind a cage. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they just, that seems like something new, but maybe it's not. But anyway, I asked the fella to get me 14-2, and I don't think he worked in that general area. That I said 14-2, which, I mean, he probably just saw the 14. Yeah, if he honest know. mistake. I mean, like, I'm just now learning what this stuff is. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's fine. Luckily, I will sit here and say where I seem to be Lowe's, like, number one shopper, I have taken advantage of the refund system quite a bit, like, if I get the wrong thing, and they're really good to work with. Tell me back. Come you. I smell good. I smell good? Yep. Told y'all I didn't stink. My house may be a mess sometimes. My body may be a mess sometimes. But one thing about it, you're gonna walk in here and it's gonna smell good. And I'm gonna walk by you and I'm gonna smell good. Don't ask me how I do it. I don't know. But while he's gone, I'm gonna make a water. I'm an on water talk. Water t the water side of TikTok. There's actually a side of water on TikTok. They make flavorings. I don't think once you put all those flavorings in there that it's still water. I think it's just zero sugar juice. <laughs> But I'm gonna make me one because I'm gonna, I don't have all the ingredients to make tiger's blood. Tiger's blood is my all time favorite snow cone flavor. What? Hey, buddy. Hi. It's my all time favorite, and I don't have the watermelon because tiger's blood is compiled of like coconut, strawberry, and watermelon. I don't have watermelon, so I'm going to just like add just a little bit of raspberry or maybe passion fruit or, or dragon fruit i don't know i'm gonna smell them and we're gonna save but i need to fill this up with some more water which color what blue oh <gasps> <laughs> um it's okay if i play mario kart in here you want to play mario kart in here yeah yeah on the tv yeah okay thank you let me show you what we're gonna put in here. I don't have a bunch of packets either, so we're doing skinny syrups. I just got the order of skinny syrups in. It's taking forever because apparently Water Talk is blowing up the skinny syrup website. So it took me a solid two and a half to three weeks to get five skinny syrups. And I've ordered skinny syrups before and it doesn't normally take that. So they got a high order volume right now. I have to, they have to. I got Unicorn Dreams, I got coconut, raspberry, and Dragon fruit, acai. I used to call it a cob, but I think one of you guys corrected me and says acai. Oh, Colton's mumba in back there. Go on with your bad self. Get it, baby. Whichever one smells nearest to watermelon, we'll use it. It's definitely gonna be this one. That one smells really close to watermelon. The dragon fruit, acai, that smells really close to watermelon. Am I you know, that smells an awful lot like a watermelon too, though. It's raspberries. Let's smell this unicorn one and see if it smells anything like watermelon. Why do they all smell like watermelon? I got me a lot of ice in here. It's one thing, if you try this, you definitely want some, a lot of ice. Because I've tried this with the flavor packets. You can do it with the flavor packets. It's just more potent with the flavor packets. Sweet, it's gonna be, I don't, Oh, that's a squirt in the forehead. These aren't as sweet as the packets. I've done the strawberry, half the strawberry packet, half the watermelon packet, and a Bahama Mama packet, which is basically coconut together, but it is so potent because the packets are always really potent. So I'm gonna try it with these skinny syrups now. We're gonna do a little bit of strawberry. I need to get the pumper things, like the people on TikTok do, they have like the pumpers. I'm gonna use some dragon fruit, acai. I'm imagining a pump. There's one pump, there's two pumps. Ooh, that smells good. I love the way the coconut smells. We're gonna do one, two, three of the coconut. Give it a good stir. Tiger's blood. It's tiger's blood. Okay. This 
is going to help me stay away from the snow cone stand this summer. I could eat or drink a snow cone, my weight in snow cones. Like, my weight. 300 pounds. That's wild. While we're waiting on Shane, I got a couple of areas to fix. On the shelves up here behind the couch, I'm going to fix that real quick. Because it's been driving me bonkers. That right there. <laughs> I found this cute flower at the Ross. And my intentions were to use it over here when we did the built-in. But I'm not going to use it over there. Because I kind of liked how it was just simple. So I'm not going to take this back. Because I definitely know I could use it over here. Yeah, I like that better than that was. Simple touches, but I like it better that way. In Ross, it's a lot harder to find floral and greenery. It's way easier to find it in TJ Maxx, but when you can find it in Ross, it's just as good as TJ Maxx's floral and greenery. I would argue just as good as Hobby Lobby's too. And that white floral right there matches a lot of the white floral that I got going on in my living room for summer and spring. I got that at Ross, but I got these at Target, and I got this at TJ Maxx, and it kind of all flows together. For spring and summer, I wanted to try floral, and I like it a lot in here. It kind of livens it up a little bit. I look like I must say we come in peace. Look how lit up it is in here. I love it. You guys have to remember, we used to struggle to see in here. There were very minimal lights, and it was button and coat. Like, it was very dim in here. We had a hard time reading after dark. If we had leftover school to do in the evenings, we had a hard time seeing to do it. We had to have a bunch of lamps if we did. And even with lamps, it wasn't bright enough to see at all. So now, it, it's, it's just looking so pretty and bright. Which is why I'm opting to go for the recess lights. Because it really does look really pretty and bright. We got some Mario Karts going on while we're doing this. Oh, he's over there. Oh, yeah, Catwell always wins. I hear him. There he is. Cammy. Another week, another day, another hour since. You went away and so cliche, you didn't say goodbye. I've been waiting for so long, still debating what went wrong. All by myself, you pulled away, you couldn't say what we were struggling with. It's one of us, it's obvious, but who's to really blame? There's an aching in my heart, all the questions that I've got are keeping me up at So one issue that I've had in the past is obviously like threading stuff because I didn't know what to use to thread stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but the guy who came out here and was teaching me and everything, he told me about these, which I got at Harbor Freight, and it's these little fiberglass rods that the whole purpose of them is to feed them through holes. I think the, the pattern that we're going to go in is we're going to go from there to there, from there to there. So um, right here is the box that I'm going to put in. Mm -hmm. On this one, I'm going to have to have it have two holes coming out of it because those wires are going to be coming into one side while these others are coming into the other. Okay. And with these, it's just a matter of just pushing them Ooh. in. 
When my brother gets home, look, the dog's been passed out from the onions. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> She's passed out from the onions too. <laughs> We're going to have our own comic book convention. Then we'll climb Mount Kilimanjaro. The dog came back to life. <laughs> he has a death wish. He's climbed up the slide. The cat's got a hold of the onions now. <laughs> oh my. We're going to practice our Olympic dives. Look. Now she has not got a hold of the onions. <laughs> the dog's like, she that is what you good. get for feeding me onions. <laughs> <laughs> that is her off the side of the cliff. <laughs> when my brother gets home, we venture into the deep, unexplored rainforest. Oh, there goes leeches. <laughs> <laughs> Death note. <laughs> when my brother gets home. This look. is what you get for <laughs> I think this is heaven, and I think they all ate the onions. Yeah. <laughs> they look happily ever after. They're running off into the sunset, and there's the bus they got off of at the pearly gates. Yes. The people in there is going the other way. They're going to the other place. Oh, oh. is that place called the Abraham Paradise? Yeah. <laughs> They're going to paradise. Mama, mama, Abraham's bosom. Yeah, they might be being 
dropped off at Abraham's bosom. Paradise. Wait, Mama. Or the other do one. You, wait, do, if you do bad and listen, if you do good and listen to God, you'll go to heaven. But and then if you do bad, you if you, you do go bad, to I mean, that doesn't mean you, you're not going to heaven. What your key what, to heaven is Jesus. That's it. That's I know, it. but Abraham. So Abraham's bosom was a place that people went before Jesus. So, so the no people, one can go there now. No, unless they, they're time travelers. They might be time travelers in that bus. <laughs> so what do you want to do? Well, let me guess. Eat onion. <laughs> you, I can do it too. How many apples? Apples. How many? How many apples? Dogs. Apples. How many is there? Two. Good job. How many is that? One. It's a lion. Three. Three apples. Look here, you two. See here, you two. I can get five on top. Can you? How many? Apple. How many apples? One. How many apples? It's a one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. What's that? What's what? What's that? What's this? What's that? Oh, that's a tiger. Tiger. And that, what is that? Target. What is this? Ta not Target. <laughs> you're not going dogs. to Target tonight. Unless that's your favorite place. Dogs. Okay, dogs, lions, and? Target. But see, we are as good as you. Look, now we have seven, too. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven apples. Look out, look out. I see a mop. <laughs> oh, no, the bear's chasing us. Say your prayers. I love you. Love you. Say your prayers. In Jesus' name, I hope I have a good morning. I'll have a good morning anyway, because you'll be there right next to me. And I have my pants, and I, uh, I gotta bro go brush my teeth in Jesus' name. You forgot to brush your teeth in Jesus' name. Go right now. Did you brush your teeth? Yeah. And the crazy nights I figure I should probably give it a try Baby, check it out See what it's all about But the traffic was fast And the money was slow The people I met you never get to know I kind of miss this place I used to live back home Do y'all see what difference that made? Oh my gosh It's so bright in here I don't have to worry about that wall Making it dark in here anymore I don't have to worry about standing here at the bar and facing the living room because that's where all the light comes from. I can stand wherever I want to in the kitchen. I'm obsessed. Look how cute my thing looks back there, by the way. Y'all, like, come on now. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so excited that, like, if we have leftover school to do in the day, we don't have to stay in the living room after dark because it's too dim here in the kitchen and dining room. Now we can do it at the kitchen table if we feel like it. You can do it anywhere because you're not limited because of lighting. Heck yes. Are you proud of yourself? I'm the light king. Are you proud of yourself? I'm so proud of myself. Like, you, okay, I remember, I remember specifically begging for these kinds of lights and he would not do it because he felt he couldn't do it. This right here, sir, is why I absolutely 100% believe that you could build me a house. I'm serious. You could build me a mobile home. We could put it on blocks and everything. And it'd be way better than Clayton. I trust yours over Clayton any day. You know? <laughs> He's an Albert too. Thank you. You're welcome. Love, Love you. you. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope that y'all have a blessed morning, even not whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. You did so good. I'm seriously so proud of you. You like it? Yes.